Hey everyone, uh, this is the Game Industrial talking about some more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. <sighs> uh, the a little off, I'm just a little pooped. But anyway, uh, we are now done with the Pivot Hunter Trials bid, and now we are ready to go actually prepare to do the um, Chapter 4 bid now, which is to go to Twilight Town. Oh boy. Yeah, my not so favorite shot, really. But not as bad as Broccoli Woods, though. Well, that's true. Yeah. Well, well, the worst part won't come yet till the next part, at least. This this bit won't be too bad. It's gonna be the next next time we when we do the next part it will be where the the fun bad tracking begins. Yeah. That trying that star piece here. Here we go. That's better. Uh, oh, yeah, you had, to, you had to go, like, write your name. I mean, you go find Darkly here. This guy here, and he has to write our wow, names on. Wow, for a sec, I thought you said Dark Lake. No, Darkly. <laughs> I was about to say, this ain't Ocarina Time. <laughs> no, I'm well aware. <laughs> he just made right. through him. Yeah, he did that. I was like, did he just face through me? That was so weird. Okay. There we go. Oh man, what, oh my goodness, if you had, uh, uh, what's her name, Madame Flurry out? Yeah. Oh, when, when, when you write the name? Yeah, I think it write like on her, on her small tail. Huh. I, I've always done with Yoshi every time, honestly. I've never I tried with the others yet. I always do it with Coops. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and I believe I got, I did off camera Yoshi, uh, Yoshi's, um, Upgrade with the shine sprites. So I did rank him up as well. I wonder why the roof is leaking. It's not even raining. Uh, maybe work on the pipes, maybe. But Mario's here. We have to save the roof right now with the crystal stars. No time for that stuff. Uh oh. And... <laughs> look, what? look, look, look who's on the left. I forgot she's there. Oh yeah, uh, I'll be talking to her soon. We'll be doing something for her um, later on. I think it's either during chapter five or before chapter six. I think it's after, after chapter five. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I second the question you talk about then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now I'm just trying to sell some of my uh, credit, my uh, badges here. That I don't really need. You're trying to sell some of your credit. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking of Neptune. <laughs> I got oh Neptune. I got Neptune on the front. But I was playing Rebirth 2 today, that's why I was off. Oh wow. I still didn't play that yet. I still didn't get back on it. I'm actually checking the true ending on my first attempt at it, even though I've already beat the game already and all, I'm just doing it anyway. Hi there, Mega Rush Badge. Mega Rush? Yeah, Mega Rush, um... That will help you when you're down to 1 HP. Your attack power will go up by 5. Oh yeah, yeah, when you're in peril with just about 1 HP. And that's how you do the whole Danger Mario playthrough, by buying a whole bunch of those and using yeah, that. Do... Yeah, you have to have your HP down exactly 1, and then, um, you can do so much damage with that. Wow. It's ridiculous. But now that I got the sack on me, I can buy me um, a few extra items now while I'm at it. <laughs> that goes looks so weird with cat ears. I think it's a bow. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a bow or, or it could be cat ears as well. You, you, you may think it's bow off of, uh, of the first one, Mario. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm almost talking like, you know, like a bow, like, yeah. you know, the weather on the head. Speaking of bow, we actually do see her in Thousand Year Door here. I think it's oh, yeah. after, I think it's after you beat the main, the main game, though. You can actually oh, yeah. see her afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and, and you can see a uh, junior trooper in one of the uh, text messages. Yeah, that's true. In one of your emails, you get. Yeah, I knew about Bo. Yeah, we'll see her later on. I know we It'll saw Harry Carey at the beginning. All right. Now we got our names on us. Now we can be actually be four at last. Pigs to Bell Tolls. This is kind of a creepy bit for this chapter, but uh, hey, if it's so. 
And we're not recording this in October. No, this is in June. The second day of summer, too, by the way. Oh, I forgot that season started. Yes, yeah, so the day recorded is, uh, the summer started, uh, yeah, just a, uh, a day ago. Whew. Yeah, so basically, there is a curse going Every time the bell tolls, another human being becomes a pig. Oh my god. It's kind of disturbing seeing that. I'm not gonna lie, when I first played this, I was literally scared of this chapter. Uh, I'll be truthful, I was kind of I was kind of scared of the chapter as well. Yeah, when they turned the place, I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, oh crap, I hope this is like randomly having to meet out of the blue too. Take note that those yeah. pigs are not paper. They're 3D models. Yeah, they actually are. They're not paper. They're actually real 3D models. They're just pretty cool. 3D, mo 3D models in a very Mario game? Well, the, ch well, the treasure chest we've seen are as well. Oh, yeah, that too. Barrels, uh, the pirate ship we even saw as well, the, the ship. Yeah, creepy steeple. That's our... Technically, our location, we need to go find the, the uh, Crystal Star. Oh, yeah. And we're a horrible monster there is doing all this as well. But we'll get to that person later. Oh, yeah, that asshole. <laughs> yeah, every time the bell tolls, another person becomes a pig. And yeah, like he said, originally, he'll become a giant pig pen, a pig pen at this rate. <laughs> Yeah, redstone shaped crystal star. Oh my god, wouldn't it be funny if one turned to whiz pig? Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> and you had to freaking race though. <laughs> if it was whiz pig, it'd be a lot worse. And... Oh, those star crow. Oh, yeah, you can actually talk to them, which I did not know. But that's too late, uh, though. Once you get Vivian on your team, yes. Yeah, I did not freaking know that. Yeah, that big got me stuck. When I was trying to play the very first time, well, before then, uh, I didn't know what to do because I can't get the name wrong, and then oh, I found Vivian. Like, it's... oh, you have to talk to her. Okay, you know, it's like you passed those three picks. Oh, yeah, they're the three traveling it, yep. sisters or something. It's quite obviously who those, who those pigs are. Yeah, they are the traveling sisters, but we didn't talk to them, though. Yeah, he, he'll let us go through, but we need to make Unfortunately. Oh, just like Sonic 06, where we need the mirror's permission to start level 2. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, the bell rang in. Who luckily got picked? We, well, luckily we didn't, though. Well, seems like we're okay, though, so let's go uh, be down and uh, hopefully sort this out and all. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, he became a pig already. Too late. Oh, no, it's not good. Man, uh, for some reason, the pigs are giving me the creeps. Now, I thought the bell might have told right here at some point, but um, when we go talk to him, we, he still won't let us go through. Oh, yeah. So, I actually went to the the shop, and then the bell would actually told him afterwards. So, you have to do this bit to actually get to, to get oh, the Oh, yeah, it is so weird how you trigger it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this scene. Yeah, one, she doesn't have anything up right now since her husband's been turned to a pig. And two, um, this cutscene's gonna be moving by itself right now. Cause she talks on and on and <laughs> on and on until it falls asleep. I can't read all that. Slow down! I mean, I'm asleep at all. I'm, I'm, I'm probably awake now. So basically, we need to help restore her husband, and we can get him out of the storage room. We find the key as well. And there goes the bell. Oh, it happened again. What is going on here? I'm not going to feed you pigs if it just keeps up at this rate. I want to become a father. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is, please. Find a black key right here, because there's our third curse we'll be getting in just a little bit. 
Oh, you remember in Pinocchio they turned to donkeys? That kind of sounds familiar. I don't remember that fully. That kind, yeah, that kind of reminds me of it. The new enemy, Hyper Goombas, which we find now in. Well, if I have to BRB for a moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hyper Goombas. If I'm not mistaken, they got strong. Their attacks are a lot stronger than the regular Goombas. I would hope so if they're called Hyper Goombas. Yeah. And don't let them charge up. Yeah, I was about to say, aren't they the ones that, like, increase their attack power by, like, six or something like that? Yeah. Just like the ones in the, in the first Paper Mario. Oh, he about to level up. Oh, wow, only three star points. Oh, look at that move. That move, look, that look at that move is so close to the earth. Alright, new enemy. Oh yeah, the pair of uh, Hyper Goombas. And that one has a freaking ice badge. Wow, I saw the one, saw the uh, one behind. Well, it's not really a badge, it's an ice item. <clears throat> Indeed. See, at this point, I would have found. I would have wished I had a, a sort of attack where it hits every ward. Lucky. Oh, he's gonna use it. Oh, frosty. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it does. You're right. Six attack power. Have the funds. <laughs> oh, he should fit power live. Oh, oh, okay, he fit, he fit power live. Yes, get, get as much defense as you can. See, I was thinking every time you take a uh, defense and attack up, it will increase your. It would keep your stats each time, but no. Uh, I'm pretty sure that would be OP as. <laughs> I fun. know, right? Wait, was that a cut? It looked like a cut, but it, uh, considering it might have just been Elgato. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's one of those uh, hyper goons with the freaking spike on his head. Oh, oh wow, it does have sometimes a little slight delay when you get the first strike. Oh yeah, did you also get Mario Tennis Aces? No. He did. <laughs> oh, he did, man. Well, bring it in, dead. <laughs> <laughs> I still love his reaction when he found out Ricky Tan was still alive. Ricky Tan dead. 
and a curse, and something increase. Oh, do another random pig. Oh yeah, that red key. Oh, I think that's the red key for the uh for that shop. What's that? Well, it did say oh, shop back. key. Yeah. Yeah, that key we just got started the storage in the back of the shop. Oh yeah, you should just level up, find some uh, hyper goomba, goombas or whatever. Yeah, it was close to level up last time. So yes, just some nice goodies here though. Oh Jam yeah, the friggin' chest is in the shop. Bushi, life shroom, and. Defense plus bash. And yes, the chest is in here, so we're gonna get our third curse. And there is one more curse left to go, and that's during uh, chapter five. And we're getting to the point where now it's just getting more obvious now that we already know what to expect. Yeah, we already know it's gonna be another curse, so let's just get this over with, okay? We don't need to go through the routine. Yeah, yeah, we know. We'll find the chest and all. Yeah, I got the tear. Come on, let's start. Yep. Gee, I never expected this to happen a third time. Oh, goodness me. What a horrible curse we get this time. <laughs> be cursed. <laughs> and now we're going to be coming. We're going to roll up like a roll of toilet paper or a burrito. Yeah, we understand, but this will help us get uh, go under small places we couldn't reach before. So this is uh, pretty handy to use. Bye-bye. Okay. But yeah, we can't buy items yet, so we're gonna have to wait still later. Probably have to wait till we get through like the first half of the the Twilight Town, and then we can actually get items in. So anyway, now we use our new ability here. And roll another log. Uh, yeah, you want to use Flurry a few times to unlock a couple things. Like here for one. Oh yeah, the hay. Hay's of horses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I know that joke's old, but still. Oh, okay, now you're going to the, to the dark woods. Yeah, I can't think of like the dark forest. Right oh now. god, not these guys again! The dark forest and the legends of the hidden temple. Yeah, <laughs> these these annoying uh, characters. And yeah, I do have the yeah. I guess the, if Silas didn't mention, got the zap tap uh, badge on. So if anyone makes any contact with me, uh, they will take damage. Yeah, yeah, like, those guys were so annoying in chapter 6 in the first game of Mario. Yeah, they were, because they can possibly not get to sleep, or they'll just simply run away. It is rare here to find the Amazing Daisy here, but it is very hard to take down at one go. Yeah, like it, one Daisy away. was desperately trying to get you. <laughs> it's like ding, 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 <laughs> ding. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that happens sometimes. I was on the other side. It can't get to me. Yeah, they were really desperate to take, take me, apparently. And yeah, that son of a gun's got another thunderbolt waiting for me. Ah, uh, just kind of a little unsure what to do here, honestly. But yeah, this will work. Earthquake. And the trees are about to fall. And now Coops can finish them all, so no worries, though. I would show them all of what they could do, but I just wanted to take them out quickly. They need a scene to knock you out the sleeve where they can run away. That's about all they can really do. Also, how do you fire a badge that they dropped? That's surprising. Okay, still got more to go through and hi again. How you doing? Oh yeah, I kept this one because we had another new enemy, which even though we already saw in the pit of our... The, uh, hypercluffed. Which can do a lot of damage if you let it charge up. Yeah, surprisingly, I didn't have a coop there, even though with the upgrade I got him. 
I saw the can there. I was just trying to do my move. Styling, profiling. Yeah, now it's charging us. Now we gotta hurry up and take it down. Oh boy. But yeah, the the shark guy put the put the trash away though, since uh, I did my move and such. So no worries though. You can do it. You can avoid it if you're fast enough to get your move in, so they won't wanna do it to you. Oh, point swap. That's uh, one I didn't show off. Uh, depending what your FP is and what your part's HP is, you can uh, swap it to. Uh, Give your character, your partner, at least uh, more HP, if possible, depending on how much FP you have. So I like... have me stomp for for a second. I didn't know you had to build a goddamn tree to get the door open. Oh, uh, we literally did go through a stump. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad pun. I know. <laughs> yeah, this is a little tricky, but yes, you have to blow here. Wow. Okay, that is so weird. <laughs> Well, if you're paying attention to the background, then I guess it would help you get the end. Yeah, you you'd you think you would stand on the on that and ground pound it, but nope. No, you gotta have Flurry to uh, uh, blow the um, hidden wallpaper to reveal it. Oh yeah, when you push the the, the rock up and the behind it, push the other rock. Yeah. All right, we're we've made the creepy steeple now. Just said that. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, this... It's pretty quick to get here. You see, I don't like this place. <laughs> nope, let's just get the star now here. I couldn't agree with you more, Flurry. We'll cover our FP here. We'll save to just be safe, because you never know. Um, There's a well here. Do not go down there till later on. I highly recommend it that you don't. Because when you head down there for the first time, there's yeah. gonna be a lot of para, para, uh, there's gonna be a lot of buzzy beetles down there. Oh, yeah. You can get them out of star point time for fighting them all, but if you do it by yourself, though, it's uh, really hard to do it alone. Yeah, I did that by accident one time, like, oh, shoot, I didn't even reset this game. Oh, yeah, there's an option. Oh, wait, that's later on. An option? I said optional boss. Oh, yeah, I actually showed off. Yeah, he's hard, too. Eh, it's not too bad, actually, but you'll see. Uh, the cookbook there, that's very important for SST to have, uh, when we bring it back to after Chapter 4. And Ice Smash has a new, uh, uh hammer move we can use for, uh, well, for ice, at least, but, uh, it'd be good against fire-like enemies. So, first off, you want to push this statue. Hey, look, it's that star from Mario 64! The star what? statue! Oh, yeah. <laughs> So a little hidden, a little hidden uh, wallpaper here to move. Oh, I, do, I do love the music in this, uh, in the creepy steeple. It's one of those those old those old time music from it's, the oldies. It's fitting for it. You find flower saver in there, and I think for do uh, you can save in uh, Erdo. I think that helps you uh, reduce FP uh, points. It's locked from the inside. Yeah, uh -oh. we'll, be, we'll be taking care of that layer. And also, oh, oh shit! So many bulls! Oh what boy, is... it's it's the freaking Castle in San Sanopolis Sonic two all over again. We're sounding like all the ghosts out. Yeah, I know what the answer was to this. So if you get two hundred, you'll get an ultra shroom for it. If you get it wrong, then you don't get anything really, and it's it's not a big deal. You just miss out on ultra shroom. That's about it. But uh, yeah. Good thing to get that, because it'll help for later on. Oh, No, of course not. Oh! Hey. Woo! Oh, no, I'll be really? good. I'll be good with the promise. And so many booze. Oh, yeah, oh, for yeah. the trick this optional boss, you gotta keep hitting the booze. Until yeah. Until they get, until they get t ticked off. Yeah, you gotta do it enough times to, uh, get the trigger, but, um... I'm gonna, uh, let them catch me on purpose. Or no, actually, I don't know if I do it on purpose or show it off here. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I did, I did by accident when I first played, when I, on my last play of it. Yeah, if you, uh, let them, if you let them get to you, then, uh, they will, they will send you out. I actually messed up a, a second time, so I had to do the time with the booze. Freaking floor masters. 
Oh, yeah. Shada. That all sums it up, really. They are pretty, the moves are pretty formasters for this game. You gotta be quick on this, too. You don't have to spin all the way, just enough to uh, swing your hammer to attack them. Now, they're gonna get ticked off and then unite. Become one. Look at all those sprites on the same screen. Big bad boo appears. That's like the same bit, uh, bigger boo from freaking Yoshi's Island. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. <laughs> it really does. Bigger, yep, bigger boo. <laughs> I like big boo better. So I'm gonna use Power Lift against this guy to make things a little easier. And of course, they have all boos in the audience, how obvious. Boo! Boo to your bad pun. <laughs> they should be saying boo, not yay. <laughs> was able to get three attack for that, so that worked very nicely. And a little defense, too. So I can do a good amount of damage now to Big Boo here. Uh, yeah, oh, he oh, yeah, his, oh, his, his name's Atomic Boo, that's right. Oh, yeah, he blows up, doesn't he? I think I should say that. Just gonna hide. He would name like that. He auto blows up. Nothing. No step is anything he does when he does that. Really. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage and things have power lift. This is making this boss fight a lot easier. Now, when he gets ready to hide, he'll do this. Oh, what? Wow. I think that does. He does it like four or five times, so he could do at least. Uh, 10 damage to you, at least with that move. Or 10 or 12, but he can do a lot of damage. Oh, dude, I thought he was going to explode a bunch of booze over the screen. Oh, now he did it. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. There's your answer. And we have the lucky start badge. Um, when you have that badge on at the start of the battle, you'll get a random stat, a uh, random abil uh, status ability or status effect on you. Oh, they came back. Oh, can you yeah. find them again? Yeah, you can uh, decide now as normal booze. So now they're just normal enemies to you. Okay. You know, once you be a Tom and Boo, the booze are just now normal enemies now. So, yeah, it's not much of an issue anymore. All right. Uh, so that's it for, every for this part, everybody. Next time, we will uh, continue to creepy still and confront the monster who's been causing all the trouble in Twilight Town and get the Crystal Star. So, uh, until then, later, folks. Later. Later.